Well, hello there, Tom Green coming back at you with some Figma goodness. And today's goodness involves working with a slide-in menu. As you know, I'm a firm believer in let the software do the work. And when it comes to slide-in menus, which are actually called drawers, there are any number of ways of accomplishing this task. And as I used to ask my students, do you want to do it the hard way or the easy way? Inevitably, it was the easy way because that was letting the software do the work. So let's get started. So I'm going to let you a little thing I do with uh, my students. I used to ask them to ask two questions before they started any project. And the f two questions were, what do I want to do? How do I do it? By doing that, you concentrate on the task, not the technology. So what I want to do is to have this menu slide in when I tap the hamburger menu. And we're going to do it the easy way. And the easy way is to do the whole thing in prototype mode. So that's where I am, prototype mode. So I'm going to select this element here. And I'm just going to drag a wire over to the menu. So when the menu opens, I'm going to go to on tap. But I'm not going to navigate to menu. I'm going to open an overlay. And you can see this little box here. And if I roll over it, I can see where the menu is. And the really cool thing is, is if you decide that you don't want the menu to be somewhere, you can just move it. And that's where the final position will be. So I'm going to move it there. And to add the overlay, I just click that. And I can also choose the color and the opacity. So I'm going to use a 70% opacity on a black color on the overlay. I'm going to have it move in on an animation. And I'm going to use Ease Out because you're going to see it move in at the end. So it's going to just slide in nicely over half a second. So let's see how all that works. So I'm going to come to Play. And I'm going to tap them. And that looks pretty good, but uh, I don't want the menu here. So let's go back. And we'll move the menu sort of up here. So it looks like it just comes in. And what you want to do is cover that hamburger menu. Now, the other thing that you may wonder about is how does the user get back to the original screen? Well, that's right here in the uh, prototype mode. Close when clicking outside. And this is a standard best practice. You could give it a close menu there and just say, OK, fine, we'll just dismiss the menu. But this is the easiest way of doing it. Just close when clicking outside. So we'll just close that. And let's click outside. And you can see everything is doing what it is supposed to do. Now, if you want that to be a little bit darker, you don't have to do anything crazy. Just come back to your prototype. Open it up, and let's give it an 80% opacity. And I'm just give it another test. Now that's a lot better. Now what we're doing here is we're giving the menu focus and pulling the user's attention from the background to the actual menu itself. And then to dismiss it, out goes the menu and everything comes back into focus. So there you have it, a simple slide-in menu where Figma does all of the work in prototype mode.